Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Challenging and fun real tech mod pack So as you can see behind me There are a lot of chickens And they've basically been Well from that feeding trough Just put some they put seeds in it And look how many chickens have got Different colours And you can see behind me There's quite a few feathers and eggs lying down there Let's just go and pick those up I don't need to be too close But uh, <laughs> three, three stacks of eggs Oh more I think they're laying like crazy at the moment. And there's still a few seeds in there, so I reckon it's probably reached its maximum. Just walk around here like that. How many, how many feathers did I get? Thir no, I didn't have 37. I got about 20 feathers, I think, because I had about 20 before. So that means we can make some arrows, which is also great. We'll do that in a minute. <laughs> and, okay. Now, the next thing I want to let's get rid of this stuff that I don't need in me. Picked up some okay wheat as well good so they're all gone now in here as you see i put down a, a lantern but there's also a lot of pollution from the torches from the previous but let's get rid of this pollution now with me i've got this vacuum chair uh, vacuum tube and I, I think i need to remove those two bits i've not done this before put the respirator on i presume i can put that on like that and it, oh yes respiration 24 and capacity for a, a diamond backpack and I reckon I have to do it like this but I haven't tried this I'm just guessing so I think we just probably right click a block or left click it <laughs> don't know I must be must be right clicking it look it's pulling it in so that's getting rid of the pollution from this room I guess that's then going into the vacuum bag oh yeah it's all nice and clear now we can breathe again. Oh, upstairs. Oh, there's another torch that gets rid of that one. We'll quickly make some more uh, lanterns. We'll get that the way around. Jack lanterns. So we could put one up here. Let's have a look where the dark spells are. Uh, spells parts are in here. Just one actually over there. Let's put. It, so let's put a lantern over the door, uh, over the stairway then. Can I not get it in there? Why can't I put you up there? Uh, oh, of course, I think it's... Lanterns are a bit awkward. Do they only have to be placed down? Anyway, that's it. No more. I haven't got any more lights in here, have I? I'm sure you can place lanterns. I think they have to be placed on something, don't they? And we'll see if that actually generates any pollution. I haven't seen any pollution yet. It doesn't look like they're smoking, does it? So that's how we get rid of pollution let's have a look at this vacuum bag now so it's got one sulfur emission and 21 carbon emissions i'm just wondering whether or not we can do something with that afterwards i'm not sure just look it look it up anyway that's useful we can get rid of pollution in that way fortunately we don't have much pollution at the moment it's going down i think spent the most of our effort getting it down. I this one. Why do we turn off the, the lightness markers? Because we've got the, the lanterns all around the place. There shouldn't be too many mobs spawning. So that's nice. I'm only getting really pollution from this thing. And I don't know whether or not the, the Tinker Smell Tree is. It makes any difference whether you've got a small one or a big one. At the moment, this is the smallest you can get one block. And yes, I know it's a bit of a pain. But it can do everything we need to do. I think eight blocks is the max. Basically, it takes eight, doesn't it? So we can do that. Now, automatic processing is next. I did actually make a checklist here. Look. Yep. A checklist. <laughs> so we did the pollution next door. We've done jack o' lanterns, as you can see. As far as I can tell, I put one in here. I don't see any pollution, but then again, they've got this running. It doesn't help too much. Uh, I want to make a glider, a better sword. I want to make some draw keys and flint in the furnace. Now, flint in the furnace is actually a problem. Let's go and have a look at that. Set all this stuff up last time and it's working really well. I'm quite pleased with it, except for one thing. And that one thing is this. Flint! I'm getting flint. It's basically coming from the gravel. We get gravel and the flint ends up in here, so you have to remove it manually. <laughs> but it's good for flint. Now, it's one way of getting a lot of flint out of the system. And as you can see, those two copper came out, and then we got another gold, and then we should get another flint, I think, after this one. We'll see. Oh no, it's probably full up. I'm pretty sure we'll get another flint. 
because it alternates which which side it takes it from no nope, iron i'm sure there's a flint sitting there to be taken and when that's gone then we can quite happily get out of the way so it's taking these on this right hand side at the moment i'm not sure if it's going to take the flint next and i can't think of a way i was looking in the mod i can't see any way of being able to filter stuff man automatically using um using magnetic craft maybe you can we, we can certainly do it with uh, immersive engineering whether i have to do that i'm not sure so what's wrong with this thing yeah i've got flint in there already oh, it's one. oh see so it's showing up here as being flint but the shipping out oh, there that's second flint. good so that's all the flint's gone there which basically means we can make some uh i think i did another mirror as well so we've now got five mirrors I don't need you there, do I? I've seen a torch. Get rid of this one. I need to put, I'll put a lantern down there instead. That'll stop that pollution and stop the pod still spreading, I think, is the idea. I'm not sure if pod still works that way, I must be honest with you. Where I'm standing here, we've got the pumpkins. So they're growing. One melon and five, four pumpkins that are growing there like that. And I still haven't moved to the new base, but that's because... I haven't really finished everything I want to do here yet. Um, I want to do more stuff here. Basically, it's the resources which I don't want to go. And what I'm thinking about doing is setting up another portal. So let's do that. I want to do that, but from the from the other base. So let's make a glider. What do we need for a glider? We need leather. And I think I'm going to put this stuff back into this chest here. Let's just move, make some space. Should be able to find it in there easily enough. Is it dark? Indeed, it is. Right, quick, quick, another sleep. That was a fast day. And I want to make some drawer keys so we can actually lock lock the drawers and also see the quantity of them. That would be a nice start. I think we'll do that first actually because it's irritating me <laughs> a lot. Oh, and I was looking up shurikens. We'll look at that in a sec. Stay, uh, later on. And so it's at storage drawers. And we want key. There we go. Um, so we need a draw key. So that's one of up, upgrade, two gold and one nugget. We also want a concealment key, personal key, and a quantity key, which is the book and quill, which is actually no problem. We can do that. Great. So I have got quite a few. Um, where have they gone to? Ink sacks. Actually got ten from fishing. So fishing is pretty good. I'm impressed with fishing. I, I forgot about it. I always forget about it, actually. It's a bit harder in this pack as, as normal, but it's not impossible. And I should have some... Where have they gone to? I should have some upgrades for that. If I haven't, I'm going to have to make another one. I don't see any. Uh, and I don't know whether I've got any chests about... Yeah. I, thought I, had some, I thought I had something prepared for this. Don't need that in there, that can go elsewhere. I thought I had. Hmm. Don't see it. So I'll have to make another draw. Oh, we should have a reasonable amount of wood, and I probably ought to make a, a hammer as well. How much have we got? 15, 16 pieces of wood. Six. I'm not sure how many needs. Let's get rid of this cotton first of all and we need oh I've just no I haven't that's good book a book I should have a book about and I can't see it which means I'm gonna have to go and get another one from over the road nope in fact I could take some more of the uh, some more iron being processed let's go and do that and drop let's drop this into here because I know I figured out I could put a hopper on the top of this like this I don't, I don't think I showed you that last time actually so we can then of course shift the iron clusters into there and they will just go through and get processed automatically which is great and I think the library is next one up from here isn't it it's actually all good to get into the library it's got one entrance right over there. Oops. Actually, I'll swim across. It's the easiest. I 
course I could make books. But can't be bothered. I'm going to get three. That's normal. You only lose the wood when you make when you break the books. The books you keep. Let's jump down. Swim across if I can. As you can see, it's autumn time because the vines are brown. Oh. Swimming against the flow is hard work. Right. So we should be able to do a book and quill. So I want this one. We need two draw keys then. So we're going to have to make two draw keys and a book and quill. We'll do the book and quill first. Two draw keys. So we need gold nuggets. How much gold? 189 is plenty. Five. So, and then we need the chests, don't we? So what we'll do is we'll do a... I suppose the best one is a four draw chest. No, I'll just a draw chest. Two drawers. I'm not sure what the pattern is. I forgot to look it up. Probably turn that into wood planks anyway. I think it's sort of like that, but probably not. That gives me a basic draw. Is it like this? Tell you what, <laughs> let's look it up. <laughs> Stop wasting my time. Um, well, I suppose that's the cheapest one because it's flat, but any of these will do fine. That's four chests and five pieces. Uh, we can do. We should get four. We get four of those. But if we do the two draw one, which is like this, okay. So we basically need to go and do this. And then we get our two draws, and that's enough to make four um, upgrade kits. So if I look for this and then go for this one, we should be able to do that like that. So we get four of those, and then we should be able to make the key, the standard key. So we can, should be able to make two. That's great. And then the last one was just a book and a quill with that one, wasn't it? I don't suppose it matters too much. That's the quantity key. Good. So now we can lock the drawers up with the right click on the drawer controller. Like that. And you will get little lock signs on, as you can see just there. And then we'll just use the quantity key on the same thing. And we should get it again, telling us how many we've got, which is great. Then I know, oh, I've only got two iron left. That's useful information. I'll do the same thing on here as well. And there we go, a lock as well. So I don't need these with me. I could put those. Do you know, it might be a good idea to get some more item racks up here. Let's put them on the item rack. Um, make another item rack for these, I think. So we just need some more planks. Yeah, good three pieces that's just fine just thinking about it I still have made me arrows let's make uh, let's make the arrows that'll make actually they're drying racks but I can use it either it doesn't make any difference let's make a good number of arrows is it two stacks that's pretty good isn't it two stacks and five so at least we've got some arrows to go around with next time we go to the nether we should be able to do that of course i want to make a shuriken that would probably be more sensible and in order to do that let's put these drying racks somewhere i know we're going to put them we're going to put them one row above this hill like this and then i'm going to put the two keys on it they look a bit big don't they <laughs> giant keys <laughs> And the next thing I want to do is a glider, because then it's another way of getting around, and it's quite a nice, impressive thing. I've got the leather already out, didn't I? I need the sticks. I've got 48 sticks, that's good, and I think that's about basically it. Here we go. This, two, this, this one here is new. I haven't seen that before. The open glider, we should be able to make one of these. In fact, we made one of those left hand side we have to make the right hand side and then we have to put the two together so we need a scaffolding so we need more iron than I've got great actually I've got plenty of iron 
it's just in the wrong place as usual so I've got two stacks in here got some gold in here copper in here let's get rid of this we can I take anything else out of there no that gravel was because I took it out of the system before it even reached the sieve so we can of course put those away now so we should have five don't we so five or six six I think so let's get back to making the, the glider so we need this piece and then we can put it all together with one of these like that so we have our hang glider let's press F5 to see what we look like oh yes <laughs> not bad shape actually it's, it's a reasonable size oh yeah I'm flying let's uh, just move it off the hand so it doesn't actually work all the time we're going to test it a bit we're going to where should we go and test it let's go and test it up here Uh, I can't get up here anymore, can I? I have to go around a bit. Oh, there's some barley. Yeah, I'll just take some of that with me because I want the seeds. Right, let's see if we can fly off to this copper over here. So, no, we won't get that far. 700 blocks, eh? But we'll get a good distance. We should be able to reach this island. And then, of course, coming back is going to be more fun. What's that there? Notch leaf scorpion weed. Interesting one. Plenty of that here. Right. It's night time again. I'm just going to go back home. And check that list. Because we've done quite a few bits already, haven't we? those things I was like that was quite good actually I didn't die doing that and I changed these to all of these cables now insulated cables by the way there we go right, glad it's done let's have a look at our checklist in here so you shift right click this and I'll get this out of my hand for all. shift right click that and you pick it up so then you can right come on oops I should right click down there and then you can right click it so we've done pollution next door I'll take that yes jack-o-lanterns glider better sword drawer keys flint in the furnace nether portal new base and a better sword okay now that basically means I don't know what I've got for materials at the moment I suspect I'm gonna to have to go to the new base so we're done or at least I need to get some tin what have I got for for all this at the moment Got slots a reasonable amount of silver and plenty of tin good we'll use this tin so we've got uh, three blocks of tin already so another another one block of that so let's divide that by three and we can then shift those two away see and we've got a block of tin in here so let's just use the tin to make um because we've been using lead to make to upgrade the tool station to a tool forge So let's have a look at the uses of that one. So we need, okay, we need some seared bricks. Have I got any seared bricks? I did have some seared bricks in, oh yes, look, 125. So we need um, basically 12. 113 should be right, shouldn't it? Okay, so we can then do that use of that again. And should be able to shift click it into place, but uh it's complaining that we so we'll have to go right to the right one, do we? Tin, which is tin, that one. So we now have a tin legged tool forge, which is great, because then we can start to make the advanced tools. And so the first one I'm gonna make is the shuriken, I think. 
Uh, I'm going to take... Because I've got a... Sword's okay. It's not that great. It's plus six damage. Um, so if we now go and have a look at the, what I was looking at before, which was the um, shurikens. There's only four pieces of metal to do one of these. Four, basically four knife blades to do one of this. So I was going through the different ones. And if you hold down shift, ammo eight, attack damage 4.5. So that's not so great. Ammo four, ammo 56. The, the one with the highest attack damage was definitely manilium. Night slime, where's it gone to? This one. So we've got 87 ammo and attack damage 70. 7.8 this has got the Ardite one's got at least twice as much but we can basically put reinforcement on that now reinforcement um we can get rid of the glider we don't need the glider on let's have a look at reinforcement it's this thing so we need any any blank plus eight Obsidian. We can do that actually. We'll do one of those two. We've got all the bits we need for that in that chest and it's already prepared. So let's first of all get out four pieces of manilium which I've got here. Oddly enough, that was an accident. Um, one of those and f let's take all of the obsidian out of here. Actually, I want to keep that's black wool. Obsidian oh, is actually in here, isn't it? I'll put it away somewhere. I've got 20. Let's put in back. I only want to have keep two. I don't mind, I'll do it for the, like that for now. So we'll make the reinforcement first of all. Okay. So I can take away. Uh, no, still got no space. What I'm going to do is plant this barley down here first of all. Because I've got two pieces or two plants. It's probably better to have three. Um, let's put that in number five here. And then right click it. No, because you pick up one of the two items. Great. <laughs> so I'm going to just get rid of the stuff that I've got. Uh, or maybe not actually, because it's kind of. Yeah. I'm going to get those seeds as well. I'm bound to need the seeds. Especially if you're doing any forestry stuff. Look at that this bit here. That's interesting. It shouldn't have despawned in that time. Hmm. Never mind. So I can get rid of the gold nuggets. We don't need those. I don't want. I only want ten pieces for the the base at the other side. So I'll put those two back. The barley we'll put away, and we've got juice. That's good. Always tidying up, wasn't it? Barley should go into. No. I can't put it in there. Oh, I've got it in there. I've got it in the chest. I hadn't realised. Sorry. I've got it in the storage drawer over here. Now, barley is good because it means you can make bread. So we could take these out like this. Half them. Put the three back. And then come along here, we can make bread directly out of this, like the old fashioned recipe for bread. So that's a decent recipe, that's a decent food stuff. We'll put, eat that and see how we go. Now, Danny says he did upgrade, fix the Aquamunda stuff for the for the food properties. Now, here we've got nutrients. Yes, now we've got vegetables. Before we didn't have nutrients on the, those. I do remember that. And actually, that's not too bad. Vegetable 2.5% chestnut. Oh, I'll do. I'll have one of these. Let's have a look. How much? Three, two and a half. I've got two. Okay, we'll just eat one anyway. Give ourselves a bit of f food, and it doesn't use up the bowl. That's actually good too. I think it. Great. So, next thing. I want to make the shuriken. So the first thing we need to do for the shuriken is to make we need a stencil table let's go to a stencil table and this is something else i learned from him basically you take a knife blade and i think this is a knife blade yeah, that's a sword blade pattern knife blade pattern this one here shift and you can shift click it and it goes straight into the pattern chest and then you can go to your part builder 
I need some cobblestone because I haven't got any. One piece is probably enough actually, and we'll put it into the part builder. And then you can select it. Blade. So we can put that into there, make a cast. What's the. Is it two material cost? Oh no, it is only one. Good, I was thinking it was. And then we can put this down here and we'll take our aluminium brass and we'll melt, smelt some aluminium brass because that's by far the cheapest way of doing this. And since gold is valuable and definitely is valuable, we've just got bronze, aluminium brass. One of those will do. You need two gold or one aluminium brass, and that's something else I learned. I didn't realize that either. So that's doing that. So we'll get these four ingots of manilium in there and get those smelted up as well. So let's have a look how we're doing for that. I'm curious to whether or not if these other chimneys work the way I have to have it somewhere else. I'm not 100% sure. Now that should be smelted up, which it is good. So we can right click that and we should get a cast. And the cast, the, the blade should disappear. Fantastic. So that's basically three aluminium or one brush. We don't have that many uses for aluminium, so it's a good way of making use of that. So this is going to take a while. So we'll leave that for the time being. And we'll have a look at how much, how many modifiers do I get when I make this thing? So I think we normally get about one or something like that. And the idea is to, here we go. Does it tell me? Oh, we get three modifiers, fantastic. Then I can make three sets of that. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and trundle off to the lava field and come back when I've got a lot more obsidian. I've got a bucket of water, that's all I need. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, I've got my obsidian and I picked up at about 40 blocks, I think, maybe more. Got 65 in total now. Uh, so we can make the, let's make, what are we gonna make first? I think we'll have to make the, the blades first because we've got this and I've put in some manilium in here, which is good. So we've got three ingots of that and I've got some iron coming up too. Now the reason for that iron, you'll see in a minute. So they should just smelt. We need four of those. I've got a camp. I would like to put a redstone clock on this, to be honest with you. I'm not exactly sure how. This poor tree's been <laughs> looking a bit sad, isn't it? <laughs> and maybe I'll plant another tree down there and get to get rid of more some of this more pollution because it's all the pollution. Look at that state of that thing. It's all coming from the smell tree. Well, I suppose that's sort of realistic, isn't it? Let's just double check. All right, good. And I have got the last four knife blades. Brilliant. So we'll take, remove this cast out of here. Try again. <laughs> and make some more casts. We need three of those, don't we? To, to get the... Actually, I think two is enough, but we'll do all three. like that and we'll also go and get I really need five in total but I'll also get out of here now pattern chest of course the grass has grown so tall I can't do it very well um, I want the plate cast here that's what I'm going to do with the iron I'm not sure it's a great idea but we'll see so we can right click that into there so it wouldn't be so bad if I could automate this Oh, there's that block. You know, I want to keep this bit free here. And I prefer not... These chimneys don't seem to work. I put some chimneys here, as you can see. They don't seem to be doing the bit they're supposed to be doing. And I can't put one here, because that's where I want the... I suppose I could do. I could move this to the front, couldn't I, the hopper? Oh, we'll leave it for the time being. Right, we'll get some more iron plates done. So let's make up the shuriken now. So we'll be able to make up a shuriken, shouldn't we? So I think it's just four knife blades for a shuriken. Indeed it is. Can I shift click them in off Garada? So we get our manilium shuriken now. And we should be able to emboss that later on. So look at what these three modifiers. So we've got another one, two of those, we'll make two more of these. So we need 16 pieces of obsidian. 65, that should bring it down to 49. Well, my arithmetic's getting good. <laughs> so we'll do the recipe for this one. 
Then we've got those two. Then we can put all of these onto this, of course. Let's put that into there. Be sure to get a reinforced shuriken. Now that should increase the ammo, I think. So it was 87. Oh, it's the durability. I, I'm, I'm sure I did this four or five times and then I get... The ammo hasn't increased, actually. Accuracy 100%. And that's the last modifier available to that. At the moment, it's got no more modifiers available, so we'd have to add more modifiers. And that's expensive. So we'll look at the Tinker's add-ons, because that's pretty expensive stuff. There's add-on, isn't it? This one. So we could with a, in a, get an auto repair modifier, but the iron tool kit. So that's basically eight iron ingots per faceplate and a block of pig iron. Well, it's not too impossible that one, is it? Gold's really, that's ardite. <laughs> so we need, it's eight, eight, I think pretty sure it's eight for a faceplate actually. It might be five. Diamond, no, that's not diamond, that's prismarine. I'm not going to need prismarine at all. And the last one's obsidian, I think, with an ender pearl. So large, that's that's probably is the easiest one of the three to do or four to do, I think. But you can only have one of each, so you've got to I suppose iron and pig iron would be a good combination. And of course, we have to repair this with uh, manilium, but that's also expensive. <laughs> Actually, it's not too bad. We've got plenty of that, and it's night time, so I'm just going to have a quick sleep. But at least we have a ranged weapon that's reasonably powerful. I would like to put some quartz on it, but I, I think I'll get it up to unbreakable first and make it more effective afterwards. So that's that bit done. Sword, I haven't decided on sword yet. I'm going to be dead on this video. I'm not sure what the best sword is, but... Um, There's different types. We've got rapiers, we've got katanas, we've got uh, the slow one, which you can put lots of um, redstone on. What's it called? Cleaver, isn't it? And I think if we put this one here, it's got attack damage 11. 10.22, manolium 18.2. If you <laughs> basically get that, and look at the durability on that, it's enormous. So if you can get that up, one of these, what's the manilium cleaver basically composed of? Because I've forgotten. It's probably one blade and that's a lot. But we can actually add paper to it. So, that was another option for doing the katana, uh, for the shuriken, of course. I could do a paper one, which would probably give me the extra modifiers, and then we'd have to emboss it. But embossing is not possible at the moment with manilium, and then it would get. I think the attack damage of manilium, which is pretty good. So, but paper itself is pretty rubbish. The cleaver. So this is large sword blade, a tough tool rod, and a handle and a face plate. Now, you can mix and match those, and I'm not sure which one to do at the moment. It's a bit awkward. Let's just finish off doing these plates. They should all be smelted in here now. We should have three in there. And we should have therefore four in here now. As long as oh, I think one got thrown out, didn't it? Because I saw it getting thrown out. I think I'm not sure it's all two. Uh, both of those all. Let's have a look. I need eight. Oh yes, it'll be both of those. I think. There's something to do with pollution that these are getting thrown out of here. Six. Uh, annoying because <laughs> the only other place I could put that you see here's the block and it goes up that way tell you what I'm going to do this anyway because it's driving me crazy so we've put this one on the front the hopper on the front of this like this we'll put into the hopper the, the iron and we'll put the piece of stone back on top of the hopper now the reason for that is you don't want it to search for items. If you drop an item, you don't want it falling necessarily into the into the furnace too. So we put the chimney. I'll take one of these two chimneys here because it ain't working, is it? I 
and we'll put that we'll build it up down here and that is working you can see it's working because the smoke's coming out of it now with a bit of that that'll actually stop the pod seal as well and that should also prevent the iron disappearing out of here so that's the which should be great so so that's the last one six this is not on my list by the way eight so what we do with these what I'm going to make is a barrel so we need eight art sheet iron metal like this and we can make a barrel now I don't know how good it is oh we can't make a barrel what's wrong with that then let's have a look at uses of this hmm oh this one a metal barrel so we need some of these so do we need more plates because that's going to give us six and I think we need five plus that oh no it'd be right So we can make a metal barrel from immersive engineering and I think I'm pretty sure we should be able to put some lava into this because my disaster with Aquamanda's thing I'm going to try something different with this one let's see put so let's put the water in now can we break it and not get the water back does it hold the water let's kind of look take it somewhere else let's put it down over here and right click it with a bucket yeah it does good so that works and it's got an input face so it's all, it can be automated I presume it's an output face on this which you'd use with a hammer wouldn't you just right click it with a hammer to get an output face on it so that's good so that's working so where's my weapon in hand I shall have my weapon in hand when I'm doing my outro so that's it for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it um, next I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing uh, but so you'll have to be I have to wait unexpectedly for that one. <laughs> okay, until next time, bye for now.